Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen Lee Ann and I'm a cruelty free YouTuber. If you've never been here, welcome. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It is free. So this is a new tutorial tutorial. This is a new series that I thought would be really fun to do because I have some really talented foxes out there. You guys have been tagging me in some of your makeup looks, um, a lot of your makeup looks on Instagram and Twitter and everywhere. And I'm just like so inspired by you guys. You guys are like just super talented. So it kind of started when I recreated Sophie Rafferty's look um, for Valentine's Day. And she was really sweet and so like she's so talented. She was saying that uh, ever since I, you know, shared her look in a video, it helped her gain more followers and more eyes on her work, which is really special and feels really good. So it made me think, I was like, gosh, I see so many awesome looks from you guys. Like, why not make a series out of, you know, almost like a, like a Fox fam, like spotlight where I get to recreate your looks that I think are amazing. I decided to make it into a video series. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you do go ahead and give this a thumbs up. So I know that you are enjoying it. And the first look that I created for this tutorial is by Danny MUA 92. He is fabulous. Look at that look right there. He is just killing it. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Ooh, let's do this. My hair is like super messy right now because I just got out of the shower, so deal with it. I'm gonna be using a mixture of primers today. I'm gonna be using the Japonesque um, Radiance Primer. It looks like this. It's like pearlized because I want my skin to glow. And then I'm also gonna be using the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless 12 Hour Perfecting Primer. I'm gonna do my foundation before my eye makeup today, mostly because I'm on my period, the time of the month right now, and my skin is rebelling against me and it's, it's, it's distracting. So I don't wanna be distracted while I'm trying to recreate one of your looks here. Oh shoot, I forgot to bring my water in here. For foundation today, I'm gonna to be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. This one is in light neutral, and this is a 12 hour makeup and it's oil free. I've been loving this stuff lately and I've pretty much been wearing it every single day. I'm gonna just correct a little bit of the red here. This is the um, this is the Wet n Wild Color Correcting Palette. If you wanna know about color correcting, I did do a video on it. I will link it in the description box below. But I'm just taking some of the green, which is the opposite of the red on the color wheel and just applying that right over it to conceal the redness. This is an important step if you don't wear full coverage foundation too. I'm gonna to be taking my Wet n Wild foundation brush and just using this to apply my foundation. It's a little bit loud because Ryan's upstairs taking a shower and I'm in my studio. AKA the garage and the water heater, tankless water heater is right over there, so it's a little loud. For concealer around the eye area, I'm gonna be using the Morphe Concealer in Sand. And if you do plan on shopping at Morphe, I do have a discount code for you. Their products are already very reasonably priced, but you can use the code Kristen for a nice little discount. Just kidding. You know what? Before I do that, I'm gonna I'm gonna just color correct a little bit. This is the Naked Skin Urban Decay Color Correcting Fluid in Peach. And I'm just gonna put this over the areas that I see some discoloration. Pretty much my whole freaking eye. I'm taking a Sigma Soft Blend Concealer Brush just to kind of buff this into my skin. Okay, back to the concealer. Uh, I'm taking a NYX, let's see, a NYX number 26 brush to just buff this out. I really love this brush. It's so great for concealer. I love it. This would be really good for highlighter too. Just the shape. With what's left over my brush, I'm just gonna highlight this area a little bit. I'm gonna set the, around the eye area with my Japanesque uh, Champagne Collection Velvet Touch Finishing Powder. And to do that, I'm using a Luxie 522 tapered brush. To set my face, I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Halo Hydrating Perfecting Powder in Fair, yes. Fair is actually like kind of tan in my opinion. So 
This thing's super cool though. You just turn this little guy and it like pulls up powder like that. Oh, it's so cool. To apply my powder, I'm using a Luxie 502 large powder brush. If you're gonna do your eyeshadow after you do your face, it's a really important step to be powdering because if you don't, it makes it even harder to get rid of the fallout and you pretty much just have to wipe the makeup away and start again. Cause it'll just like stick to that shit. I'm gonna do my brows really quick off camera and I will be right back. For eyeshadows, we're gonna be taking the Tartlet. Well, this is the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom palette. And I'm gonna go in with this guy right here. This is Sweetheart to set the entire eye area and just start that um, transition zone. If that even makes any sense at all. To blend this out, I'm using a Morphe M502 brush. Now I'm gonna dip back and forth between Activist right here and Leader to just deepen the crease up. Now I'm using a Furless ME3 brush to go in with the same little concoction there, but just to keep this a little closer to the crease area without diffusing it out too much and to get into this area over here towards the inner corner. It works really well for that because it's, like it's like a small fluffy brush. Before we get going with the yellow in here, which I'm actually really excited about, I love applying like bright color and just watching like the look transform. I'm gonna take the same uh, Morphe Sand Concealer on my Zoeva 226 Smudger Brush, and I'm basically just going to map out this little area right here where I'm going to be applying the yellow, and it goes a little above the crease, it looks like. For yellow, there's only a few great yellows out there, one of which is the Smashbox. Um, I think this is Bolt, and it is in their Cover Shot Bold Eye Palette, and it looks like this. You get a, a lot of nice little colors right in here. So I'm gonna be using the same brush. I'm gonna go ahead and use a white base instead of the concealer. It's gonna make it pop even more. So this is the NYX eyeshadow base in, I think it's just eyeshadow base in white. It's not really white in there, it needs to be cleaned. <laughs> now going back in with the yellow. liner we've got this like really awesome thick like I don't know it's like the perfect liner let's see if I, I I don't even know if I'm confident myself to recreate that but we're gonna just do a wing um and you can too this is M Cosmetics I've never used this brand this is um Michelle Fawn's baby and her makeup line so I'm excited to try this this is the Sil illustrative uh, eyeliner and felt tip and they've got um she's got a uh, brush tip one as well It is hard to do winged eyeliner with eyelash extensions. Let me just tell you what, I can't see what's going on back there. I'm gonna line my waterline with Urban Decay's 24 seven waterline liner in mood. And I'm gonna be careful not to work this too much into the lash line because we are saving that for another shade. Next I'm taking Urban Decay's 24 seven glide on pencil in deep end. I'm gonna kind of work this into the lash line and then we're going to put glitter. Now I'm taking a couple different things here for glitter. I've never used this brand before. They sent me some glitter pigments not that long ago. Um, it's called Go Get Glitter. And this one is London After Midnight and it looks like this. Just going to apply this right over top of all the area that we just laid down the deep end liner. Ooh, look at this. Every time I do this, I spill shit everywhere. <gasps> in the inner corner of the eye. I'm gonna be going in with Go Get, what is it? Go Get Glitter. And this doesn't have a name on it. It's just like their iridescent one. And then I'm taking this. I got this from Michael's in the scrapbooking section. And I'm just gonna take a couple of these blue ones and just place a few of them on the inner corner of the eye with the same glitter glue. Ooh. Glitter everything all the time. Yes. For highlighting and contouring the face, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Tartist Pro Glow, and I'm gonna be using 
This side right here, I'm gonna be using everything that you see here. First, gonna go in and contour my face with this guy. For contouring my face today, I'm gonna be using the Furless PF3 brush. He is like all awesome and contoured up, so I'm gonna do a little bit of my forehead, jawline, and also my nose. For my nose contour, I'm gonna be using, that's so funny, I literally just fucked up what I was saying, and I was like, let's start all over, and the, this brush is called Let's Start All Over Shadow Brush. That is freaking weird. Okay, this is from Lab Squared. Just gonna use this to contour my nose. Gonna do highlight before blush today, and for the blush, I'm just gonna basically go back and forth between these two using mostly this one. For, did I say blush? I meant highlight. For highlight, I'm gonna be using the Royal and Lang Nickel Contour Brush, and I do have a code for Royal and Lang Nickel as well. I use their vegan brushes. They're awesome, and they're very affordable. I think they're at Walmart and Target. Um, definitely Walmart, and uh, that code is Kristen. For blush, I'm gonna be using the, I don't know if this is new, but I just got it in a package. I think it's new. It's the Hourglass Ambient Strobe Lighting Blush in Brilliant Nude. And to do that, I'm gonna be using the Royal and Lang Nickel Omnia Collection. This is a highlighter brush. I actually have the actual lipstick that he used, which is the Jeffree Star and Manny collaboration in I'm Shook and it looks like this. There's still, it's still going. There's still more product on here. That is awesome. I was just like super sick of my extensions right now because they're a different color than my actual hair. And so I have a hair appointment in like five days and I just like literally chopped it and it's so choppy and it actually looks really bad. I need to go to super cuts or something for the next five days and get it handled. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and um, yeah, what did you what did you guys think about this look? Whose look should I create next? Go ahead and tag me in your photos on Instagram. Tweet them to me. The best thing really though is to tag me on Instagram so I can bookmark it. Um, so if you create a look that you're super proud of that you think that I would love to create, then please go ahead and tag me. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And definitely don't forget to go check out Danny. His work is super awesome. So thank you to Danny for inspiring this look. Not inspiring, I actually just recreated your look. So thank you for inspiring me to sit down and do my makeup. Um, I will see you in the next video, guys. Love you, bye. We are looking at a house right now. We're going to buy soon. This is absolutely magical. I can't believe the other house is that close though. That's kind of ridiculous, but look at this view.